Teresa and welcome to my channel today. If you're new, thank you for joining me and if you're a regular, well, thank you for coming back again. Um, today I'm going to do something that I haven't done for a little while and that is a product review. A few weeks ago I was contacted by um, the lovely gentleman Raj at zela.co.uk asked if I'd be interested in trying some of his products. He'd seen some of the videos that I'd done and, and thought I might like to give them a whirl. So I went and looked on the website just to see what it was all about and I said yes I'd be very happy to try um, some things. I'd be interested to see what their own brand products were like and how they compare to the sort of more familiar household names that I'm used to using. So he's very kindly sent me these items, um, first of which is this set of 12 paint markers. So these are the equivalent to like a Posca pen, um, so an acrylic um, paint marker with suitable for all sorts of surfaces. You know, I've used these on stones um, as well as on card and metal, glass, plastic, you know, sort of multi-purpose um, paint marker comes in the set of 12 as I say this is a 1.5 mil fine tip they also do a set um, with a medium tip as well so interested to have a look at these and see whether they are comparable to those of the more well-known brands he sent me a set of 12 drawing pens these are waterproof um, pens so in here we've got a whole range of different sizes so there is a brush tip pen and then there are seven different black fine liners two sepia fine liners and two dark gray fine liners in there so again if you're used to more familiar names it would be things like pigma micron or unipin um, fine liners so i'm going to see how they compare to that type of thing and then the third item that he sent was this um, a4 heavyweight cartridge paper pad um, it says it's suitable for painting sketching technical drawing so i'm going to try these pens that he sent i'm also if i get a chance um we'll get out some watercolor and see how it holds up to something that is quite wet um 225 gsm so it is a good heavy weight and um, they do other weights of paper on their website i mean it's not a brand name i will admit i was not familiar with their website before i was contacted by them but they do sell a lot of their own brand products but they sell a lot of top names as well other brands that you you are familiar with and um, there's products for children as well as adults and I would say everything really from the beginner artist through to, you know, if you are quite an accomplished artist and you're looking for quality products, they have got those there. I'm going to see whether these Zela brand products are, are up there with those sort of top quality ones. I'm hoping that they are. Um, the prices are pretty reasonable, I would say. The set of paint markers is currently it's £16.95. It says £24.95 um, would be their RRP on it, but at the moment £16.95. So for a set of 12, that's really good. It's like £1.50 for a pen. The set of fine liners um, would usually be £19.95, but it is currently £13.95. So we get just over a pound a pen, making them half the price you know of, of the top brand name ones that you would buy sort of individually in your art store and the heavyweight cartridge paper pad six pounds 95 which i think really reasonable for something of that weight so hopefully as i say that's going to hold up and be as good as i'm hoping it's going to be they sell all sorts of products i mean really paints pens pencils paper canvases accessories lots of different items um They've got, say, a lot of top well-known brands, children's brands, as well as their own brands. I had to look about to see what the delivery was like. As I say, they are based in the UK, um, which is where I'm based. They do free mainland UK delivery on all orders over £40. And delivery charges start at about £3.95 for orders that are less than that. There is a chart for delivery prices throughout Europe and that yes is considerably dearer than the the uk um prices i can't see anything um for shipping outside of europe although it does say delivery is calculated at checkout so all i can say is if you're not in europe and you were interested in ordering you could always try and put your address in and see whether it will see whether they will ship to you if you're outside Europe. I will say, looking at the prices for the European shipping, if you are further afield, you're probably better off trying to find an equivalent product within your own com uh, own country, just simply because the shipping costs might well outweigh um, any savings you would make on the products themselves. 
Um, other than that, um, as I say, they have a really nice range of items and I was quite happy to give these ones a, a whirl and see what they're like. So I'm going to get the items out of the packets um, and come back to you and we'll take a look and see how they perform. So on opening up the pack of paint markers, each of the individual pens inside is shrink wrapped in this plastic which I'm guessing is to sort of minimise any leaks in transit. And, you know, in that respect, I appreciate it's quite a good thing. But it's to me, it's a little bit unnecessary. I am trying to cut down on my plastic usage. So I would like to see that really, considering these come in a plastic case, I don't really see the need for each one of these pens to be shrink wrapped inside. Like with most paint markers, I've got to give these a shake. There is a, a ball bearing in there. Give them a bit of a shake up and then we can press down um, to get the ink to flow. Now, oddly, the nibs in these are this sort of yellowish colour as opposed to white. But I like the fact that this casing here is transparent because when I press it down, I can start to see the ink beginning to flow into that nib. And that will help minimise getting a big blob coming out, which you sometimes do when you first sort of pump these down. And it just says to hold it down until the whole nib is saturated with the colour. And it doesn't really take too long for that to happen. Just coming down to the end of the nib now. Nice just to say that you can actually see this. And then it's it's ready to go then. The lids are a really nice um, snap fit on there. So shouldn't be any problems with them drying out at all. And also in the pack um, is this little leaflet. It's got some examples of artwork on there. And then some more detailed instructions um, depending on what surface that you're using. Um, for instance, it says... You can use them on glass, um, but it's for decorative purposes only. It will it will wipe off um, of glass. On ceramic and porcelain, you can pop it in the oven and bake it um, so that it will become wipeable or sort of washable with warm water. Not dishwasher safe, but it does become more permanent on ceramic and porcelain. On wood, um, they recommend priming or coating your wood first and sealing with um, an acrylic based sealant. Fabrics, you iron to fix them on the fabric and then should last 30 to 40 washes. Um, generally, water resistant when dry, but obviously need to be baked, heat, heat fixed or sealed on certain items. So nice that there is that additional information. Nice that there is some um, just little examples of them being used on different surfaces. And quite a nice range of colours here. We've got a metallic gold and silver, which is really nice. Um, then, of course, you sort of your standard black, white, um, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, blue, green, brown. So really just a nice comprehensive basic range of colours there. The one thing I will say is I do like to be able to purchase coloured pens and pencils separately. There is always going to be certain colours that you use more often than others. And with my paint markers especially, I get through so many black and white ones. Now, I've had a good look on the Zeela website and they just sell these in the packs of 12. They do this with the fine tip and they do them with a the medium tip. It would be really nice. Um, I can appreciate there's added expenses in putting in open stock of individual colours, but possibly if they would put out a pack with a couple of black and a couple of white ones in, I think that would be a really useful addition to the range, simply because those are going to be the colours that people use a lot. Or maybe, you know, with the metallics, um, gold and silver, I, th I can see people using those quite a lot as well, as opposed to um, individual coloured ones. But let's see how they perform. So I'm going to get, um, I've opened up this pad, really nice. It is a smooth cartridge paper. Um, it is a good heavy weight, gummed at the top there. Nice bright white colour. 
and say the nibs on these pens they say it's a fine tip it's a 1.5 mil I mean it looks quite chunky but it is in a comparison with with the you know the Posca pens of the the same size that you know it is comparable really not sure whether to just um we'll just like color swatch to start with they're a good nice solid color I will come back to the white one in a moment and apply that over the top of some of the darker colors so we can see how bright it is because obviously the white pen's not going to show up on this uh, white paper pad the colors are really bright and vibrant they are slightly brighter than they appear through the barrel i must say um, I'm not sure why that is. I've noticed that though with the Derwent paint markers, they look a little more washed out through their clear barrel than they actually do when they're applied on paper. So I'm guessing it's just the the makeup of the paint inside them. So I'm going to take the white one now and we'll just go over some of these um, darker colours just to see how opaque this actually is. White pens can always be hit and miss and, and I'm always on the lookout for something that is bright and, and quite opaque. So let's take a closer look at those. And as you can see, these colours, they're really, really nice, actually very vibrant. The metallics have actually got a very nice sheen, especially that silver one, very, very nice. So impressed with that. And um, the white is drying, very solid, very white on top of those bright colours. So I'm actually really impressed um, with the colour opacity on all of those um, and they all seem to handle equally well um, the, the nibs all are performing well so yeah um, quality wise for that really really nice I will get down to trying them on a couple of surfaces in a moment but for now let's just move those out of the way and take a little look at these drawing pens and to say, this set here has 12 pens in it. And if we just take them out, I can see one thing that's, that's irritating me slightly about these from the off. Now I will be keeping pens either in a pencil case or more often than not actually in a, a pot standing um, on my desk. And all of these pens have this very smart looking, very nicely finished dark grey barrel and lid. And the only indication of the colour of the ink is in the base here. So you can see we've got two grey ones, two sepia ones and the rest are all black. Now if I'd got these standing in a pot, I can see what size they are, but I have no idea what colour the ink is. Um, if they were in a pencil case, rummaging through, they all look pretty much the same without spying that little colour dot on the base there. I would really like to have seen either the barrel of the pen being a completely different colour or this dot at the top being an indication of what colour the ink is. So a black, grey or brown dot, maybe with the nib size then printed in white on it. Um, I just think that will make life a lot easier and a lot quicker um, because I really don't know. I, I would have to store in a pen pot on a desk. I'd have to store the black ones that way up 
and then put the coloured ones that way up and have to pick those out to see what nib size they are. So just a little hint there that I think would make life easier for a lot of people. Um, just I'm, I'm all about speed and convenience when I'm working, but it's nitpicking. Let's see what the, the performance of these pens is like. Again, there's a little guide in the pack, which is nice. And some examples of um, artwork. A little bit of information about the pens, about the different nib sizes. Um, so yeah, really, really nice that that little bit of additional information has been included again. So let's just have a look at what we've got. So we've got in the grey ink, we have a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.5. And I'm guessing in the sepia we have the same. An O1 and an O5. And then obviously in the black we have a much more comprehensive range. Starting at um, 005. O one then we have an O two O three O four O five 08 and finally a brush and the brush is a, a proper brush it's not one of the sort of the plastic um nibbed ones it is like a fibrous one so it should give more flexibility and control than the the hard plastic brush tips so if you if you like your calligraphy um that's actually really nice Again, these are only available in these packs. They're not available as single pens. But if we take a look, the grey and the sepia are very nice. Um, as I know Unipin have, have recently added a, a grey and a sepia ink to their range of fine liner pens. So it's very much on a par with those. And we've got a good range of nib sizes here in the black and the brush tip. I'm I'm not personally that good with a brush tip. I would love to be better than I am. I find them a little bit difficult to control, but looking at how that's performing, you're going to get some really fine lines or really broad strokes. It's, it's a very nice, flexible brush tip. So value for money wise, both the paint markers and the fine liner pens look really good to me. Um, I see, you know, no problems whatsoever with the quality just by sort of swatching them out there. This paper pad is really nice as well, very nice and smooth um, to use. So I'm going to go ahead and let's try and create a little bit of an artwork with what we've got here. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high 
I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do without you Without you You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly There's my finished little doodled artwork. I'm really impressed actually with these products. Um, with the paint pens, there is some pilling on the paper. I do find I get that with all different brands of paint pens. Um, and whether I'm using a cartridge paper, a mixed media paper, or a watercolour paper, it does tend to pill up the surface a little bit. Um, there are very few papers where that won't happen. I do believe that um, I think it's the Gecko brand of Sketchbook do a paint marker pad which is supposed to prevent that pilling so I'm not going to hold that against these pens it's a common thing that happens um the white is pretty opaque You'd, if you spotted I did go over it twice just for better coverage um but pretty impressed with that I like the different size nibs on the fine liner pens I've used three here um, I used the 005 the 03 and the 08 and um, yeah, just really nice to use. They're nice to hold. Um, they're comfortable. I like the fact that you can see how much paint is in the barrel of these paint markers. Um, so very few um, sort of downsides to these. As I say, I would like to maybe see the black and the white, the gold and the silver and the paint markers available in a smaller pack so that you can replace those more easily. And I would just like the identification of the colours of these to be a little easier, maybe by something on the, the top of the lid there or just by changing the colour of the barrel or the lid or something just to make it a little bit more obvious. Other than that, really impressed with the pens, really impressed with this paper. It is, it's a nice quality paper and nice and smooth to work on. Um, so overall, um, I am very impressed with these products from Zila and will definitely give them a thumbs up. I managed to try um, a couple more different samples. Um, as I said, I wanted to try some watercolour on this heavyweight cartridge paper. I used the brush pen, the brush tipped um, fine liner pen, just to doodle out a little house and tree here and just used some watercolour just to give a quick wash of colour. There's a little bit of buckling, but you know, it's not bad. It's um, The surface is held up pretty well. So yeah, you can use wet media on there and, and you should be absolutely fine as long as you don't completely oversaturate the paper. And the other thing I wanted to do was just try out the paint pens on some pebbles. I'd got one here, I'd just given a coat of pink acrylic paint to and I've just used the paint pens to do a little floral design on it. And they've worked really, really well. The white, that's just a single layer of the white. It is nice and opaque over that bright pink paint. So very happy. Um, all in all with, with the products that Zila have sent me. So definitely um, if you're in the UK, check out the links below. If you're also in Europe, um, check them out, but be aware that the, the shipping costs are a little bit dearer. 
And obviously, if you're further afield, I don't, I'm not entirely sure whether they will ship to you or not. But for all my UK subscribers, please check them out. They've got a great range of products at really good prices. As always, though, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again next week. Bye. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark